Yeah, that's right. I sleep with my eyes open. All right, where was I? All right, dying. <laughs> you thought. What was that? Is that a bird? Kaka! All right, chat. Be honest with me. Be honest with me. On a serious, no bullshit note. Do you like the designs of the playables in Fontaine? You don't have to sugarcoat it. Uh, I I want to. Yes. Yes, so far, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, indeed, kinda. Most of them. I heard a... So, Tectone brought up a point, right? And I, and I understand where he's coming from. Where it's like... The way he described it essentially was like Pokemon. Where it's like... They kinda already did it, you know what I mean? Where it's like the, uh, you know, with each new region, it's going to get harder to please people, you know? And I'm like, you know, I understand that, you know? Because it's like when you look at Mondstadt, you have characters like Venti, Rosaria, you know, uh, D-Luke, uh, Kaya, that kind of thing. And then in uh, Lia, you have uh, Zhongli, Ganyu, you know, Shenhe, um, you know... Chongling, or no, not Chongling, uh, Xinyan, um, you know, and then, uh, and then, you know, um, fucking, you know, in, uh, Inazuma, you have, uh, Ayaka, you have, uh, Ayato, Toma, Ito, you know, and, you know, there's just a variety of different characters in Sumeru, like, I feel like every region holds designs that people will prefer, you know what I mean? Um, so, what I'm trying to get at is, is that I don't think, because for me, when I first saw the Fontaine designs, I was like, okay, some of these look cool. Some of these I'm kind of very indifferent about, you know? Uh, I will say the splash chart for the characters makes them look way better than uh, what uh, I thought they would be like. It's like seeing the splash art for Real Slee and Nouvellette. I'm like, oh. Okay. Okay. You know? Does this do anything? Seems like it does something. Go! Um. But, uh, isn't that always the case, though? Not for me. Like, even after I see a splash art of certain characters, I'm still just, like, very whatever. Uh, and even when I play the characters, there's a bunch of characters that I've, that I've pulled because, you know, I'm just a collector type of player that I'm like, okay. You know? I do love the music of Fontaine. The Fontaine music is really nice. Um, Nouvellet, yeah, I will say I'm very excited for Nouvellet. Um, uh, Rielthsley looks cool. I'm excited for him. Uh, but like, I mean, when I saw Linny and Lynette, I was like, okay, cool. You know, like, I was like, fuck yeah, I need to get him. Um, and even then, other than Nouvellet and, uh, Rielthsley, uh, I don't know if I feel that way about a lot of the Fontaine characters, you know? And that might just be a me thing, you know? Uh, and that's totally fine. You know, because I feel like everybody has their preferences as to what is what. Okay, clearly I don't know how these puzzles work yet. Go. Move it? What? Oh! Yeah, I did not know how these puzzles work at all. What the fuck? Nope. I don't know how these puzzles work. I'll figure it out later. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I I definitely have a bias towards, uh, Sumeru. But I've, uh, I love the Sumeru designs. I think my second favorite designs are probably Liyue. 
and then afterward did Zinazuma. Uh, Fontaine, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I like some of them. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of, uh, honestly, everybody losing their mind over the, the blonde haired girl that people are calling Taylor Swift. I'm like, sure. Uh, I, I'm like, whatever. Uh, I'm literally whatever about her. What about Monstat? I mean, Monstat, the funny thing about Monstat is, is that like, I know this is going to sound like a little fucked up, but with, with Monstat, I don't really, I feel like they're so, because they're the first like area, I always forget that they're separate. I, I, I just feel like Monstat is very like vanilla. Like it's like these, this is what you're going to get, you know? What am I supposed to do here? Is this just wave after wave, or am I supposed to do these, it, like, hit these things? Jesus Christ. Bro, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing a puzzle. Vanilla, stop. It won't stop. Oh, God. Bam, 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 bam. I can't move that. What the hell are these? Wipe out. Yeah, take that, idiot. Need to pump with hydro? Is that not what I was doing? See, that's the problem that I have with the, with the hydro. Oh, I need to do that for all of them? Oh my god, that seems tedious as fuck. What? I don't even... Well, That's so weird to me. Which civilization is built. No, Turbulus, if you're bringing up leaks, you're gonna get banned. We don't talk about leaks on stream. I'm already upset and I haven't tried these puzzles yet. I, I feel like I just need to understand them a little better, but like... Yeah, we don't talk about leaks, chat. If you're wondering, here's the thing. There is obviously harm to leaks, right? If you're wondering why I specifically don't talk about leaks on stream, uh, it's for one simple reason. And that's because I don't like talking about streams on my streams or, or leaks about on my streams because I've, it wasn't even a leak, but it was me just speculating something, right? And people took it as, oh, that's officially what's happening. And I was like, oh, no, no, we can't have that. So if I talk about leaks on stream, I feel like people will take it as, um, people will take it as I'm confirming things. And I don't want that. So, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Okay, great. Ah, the city of Fontaine. You specifically don't have leaks because of Twitter? Or, or you specifically don't have Twitter because of leaks? Continue affected by Hydro. So I need a Hydro. Bro, I feel like I need to actually build a Hydro unit. That isn't Traveler. Like, I have Ioto built, right? And I kind of have Nilu built. But Candace is kind of there. Uh, Chat, out of all the Hydro units I have here, can I... Which character should I use? Should I use Nilu? Should I use Ayato? Kokomi? Bro, Kokomi's level 20. There's no way I'm building her. Yalon? Yalon for sure. Kokomi? Well, Kokomi's for healing. How? I mean, I could build. I could level her. Child? Dude, my child build is so trash. Bro, I... 
I don't even have the do of reputation. The do of reputation. What about for you? Bro, I don't even have the magic conch for Yalon. Dear Lord. Child, what are you looking at? What did I do to you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There, there. It's fine. 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 Dude, what did I do to you? Okay, what is what is child rock? What is that? Look, let's just use Nilu. How about that? It'll save everybody the trouble. Okay? It'll save everybody the trouble. Nilu seems to already have artifacts. It's fine. Heart of Death? Oh, God. Do I even have Heart of Death? Ah, we've got Ayato's and we've got... Hey, uh, Ayato, that Heart of Death looking... Kind of good. <laughs> hey, Ayato, that a heart of death. Hey, Ayato, that heart of death. Uh... <laughs> Sigh, I'm disappointed, bro. I'm telling you. With my schedule, there's like no way to build all these characters. It would be a lot easier to build characters and level them up if you really could just send off units to go get. Um, just use Ayato. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm pressing the wrong button. Chat. Yeah, use Hi uh, Ayato instead of uh, Nilu. Where are we How does Nilu play again? Hmm. We could just rock Nilu for a bit. I do need to build her sword though. I'm disappointed, but I understand. Bro, I'm disappointed in myself. I feel like I need to hire someone to, like, literally level up my characters. Maybe I'll pay my cousin. They'll be like, hey, man. What if I pay you to level up my characters? You don't have to get their artifacts. You just gotta... You just gotta look for their, uh... You just gotta look for the materials. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. How did you decide to become a voice actor? Was there ever hesitation towards becoming one? Think about it since you mentioned your schedule. Uh, never hesitation about becoming a voice actor. Um, I kind of decided when I had the most f fun. More pay? What do I need to do? No fucking way, Simba. <laughs> Simba, there's no way you want to play this game. There's no way you want to play this game. <laughs> there's no way. All right, let me hit you up, Simba. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me hit you up real quick. But pay, so you see. You just gotta find materials to level them up. There is there's the Tevat interactive map. I'll give you a thousand bucks. <laughs> Chad's like, hey, yo, wait a minute, huh? <laughs> oh, Archon, please bless us with a bright and healthy child. <laughs> we pray. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man. I would do it for free. Yeah, but here's the thing, chat. I know Simba, and I don't know you guys. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I know Sim Simba, and I don't know you guys. I trust Simba with my information. I don't trust you guys with my information. I appreciate... I appreciate chat wanting to help. But I trust Simba because, you know, I've, I've known Simba for years. And I can also dox him and put out his legal name out there. So, you know, there's a little bit of a 
<laughs> I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. What are they gonna do? Come here and die? <laughs> but what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. Huh? Is that? What's her face? That's that witch friend. What's her face? Chat, remind me. What's her face? What's wrong? Vache. Vache. Skirk? No, no. Did you just say something, Paimon? No, not her. Oh, it's not her. Oh, bet, 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 bet. I thought, I thought it was, um, I thought it was the, uh, Alice's friend, you know, because Alice's friend was the one that talked to our minds or whatever the fuck when, you know, hmm. No, Interesting. I didn't say anything. Are you hearing? Strange. That? Whose voice was that just now? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Oh. Ah! oh Nick, you scared Paimon. True. Why did you get here? Oh, you know. Mm, when he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Ah, right. By the way, Lynette, I seem to hear a faint voice just now. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Hi, I've been watching VODs for a month. First stream was cut short of, uh, sleepy for school, so stoked to- Hey, well, I'm glad. It seemed as if the voice was coming from the fountain. <gasps> hey, but who was flickering the either. lights? Hey, yo, chat, 15 subs, and I'll switch hey, to female side. Let's go. For eerie things. Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Not for free. I said for 15 more subs. Others family have had similar experiences. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro Bro, Ryuji! What does hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? I don't know what is up with Ryuji, if I'm going to be honest. Probably because Hayden is uh, secluded with uh, Liru. When do you cry, Paimon? Bro, this dog. Is driving me insane. Wait, what? What does that have to do with Do you ever cry? Just answer me. When do you cry? Never. I have no feelings. <laughs> uh, Side eyes, when traveler. Paimon's really sad. Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. So always. Then you should understand that tears. Contain your most intense emotions. Mm, mm. Like I just mentioned, the fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. What? Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. Nah, I feel like my fan theory of uh of uh the Archon crying flooding the world is true. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I buy it though. So what did the voice say? It seemed to be calling out someone's name. Titan Slayer, thank you for the month. If you were hearing their two emotions, months. then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Okay, what happened to your brother and which brother? Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. That makes sense. Whoa. Let's go in and see Linny. So he's talking about... F she's talking about Fernie. Frenet. Fre Fremenet. She was talking about Fremenet. She 100% was talking about Fremenet. Crafting? Oh, I know I have some item materials for that. Surely I do. Bro. Bro. 
I've been spoiled, bro. I've been spoiled. Luca, thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. I've been spoiled by fucking Honkai Star Rail. Because if this was Honkai Star Rail, I'd be able to pull up my items and just do it. Beep, boop, 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 boop. But no, now I have to go to a... Now I have to go to a fucking blacksmith to get that going. Rules of the opera ep 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 and announcements pertaining to the opera ep not for other usage. Yeah, we got a Sumeru crew and Zhongli. Shut up. Epicles? Yeah, that's probably how you pronounce it, actually. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, so we're in church? Uh, traveler in Paimon. Good to see you. Hey, Spexel. I knew you two would come. Thank you for the subby. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. You're but five hours you're early. right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet. Which means now is the perfect chance for us to take Damn, you to the Fuji, best Fuji, you broke up house. with your boyfriend. Wait just well, a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. I hope you're okay. Uh, hopefully they weren't a piece of shit. I hope you're healthier for it. Because uh, if you broke up with them, that means that they were do they were doing something wrong. So uh, I hope your night's going better. So yeah, like I was saying, yeah, that fucking rat bitch the opera just house oh has hey. Sign seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your What if they were the bad one though? Here are your tickets. You know. <laughs> Ooh, Simmons is devil's advocate. Lenny? Yes, Lenny and Blade have the same VA. That is correct. Front row seats, baby. Don't mention it. We're going to get robbed in front of a thinking. stage. Not hey, yet. Hey, Lenny, would you come over here and take a look at this? Bro, I know that voice. I knew that voice immediately. Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him I a thought hand. Lynette was your... Anyway. Bet, yeah, get we'll busy. Go you go ahead, Lenny. Yeah, that is Cliff. That is 100% Cliff. Yes, I know. When are you going to put on some clothes? <laughs> Why be front seat when I can be... Oh. Dude, what the fuck? You know a murder is going to happen here. Is that John Wilkes Booth? Oh my god! Get down, Mr. President! I could have gotten him. Anyway. <gasps> oh my god, it's time. <laughs> Speaking of Mr. President, <clears throat> is that Nouvelle? Oh, these should be our seats. Mm. Come on, let's sit down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Speak, please. He doesn't even take a seat. Oh, I didn't see you sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, this is awkward. Hey. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna... You gonna you going to say something? <laughs> That's the side eye dog! <laughs> hey, traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still, it's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. Bro, your voice is echoing throughout this entire chamber. He absolutely heard that shit. He absolutely heard that shit. Uh, isn't that usually your job, a Paimon? Uh, little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon. Uh, yeah, you gotta do something in this game. Excuse me, <gasps> I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. I love Ray. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Yeah, that, that, that's the voice. 
That's the voice. <laughs> he sounds like you. <laughs> Take him out. Oh, uh, so you heard all of that, did ya? We're the <laughs> only ones here, and your voice is echoing throughout this entire chamber. Of course, I heard you. Uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon's. Sorry, um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. This is a uh, lot of barnacles. Oh, but, but, uh, what this is getting it? even more awkward. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? It's Sukuna. Yeah, it is. A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. But no, I'm here on official business. Oh, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Linny, then. Look at the way this man has his Kidding fucking my. legs I'm crossed. Ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. All right, I'm in. This is what I need. To, I just need it. I just, I just need this man. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. We just arrived in Vaudane. Bro, my dog is ruining the moment. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. Dude, I just noticed the frills in like, coming out of, uh, like from his shirt. Like, look at his cuffs and you see the little frills. Gonna see six him. Mm. I don't know about C6. Mm, but it's tempting. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am. Oh, I gotta hear how you say the fucking name, bro. Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have Nervillet. you here to see show. Where did the R come from? How dare you? How dare you take this away from me, Linny? I wanted to hear him say it. I wanted to hear him say it! Ah, oh, Mr. Linny. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Oh, wait. Nervillet? Could he be... He's the guy that's gonna put us in jail. Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillet is. You're ruining this for me. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Uh, honesty, they say. Why are they saying it wrong? How do you say it? How do you say it then? N was I right? Was it Nervillet? Nuvillet. The R is silent. Nuviet. 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 Nu <laughs> I'm getting incorrect. Someone's saying Nuviet and someone's saying Nuvillet. Why can't they give us simple names? Because they want to be fancy! being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important When the French person. people say it right. <laughs> You don't pronounce the L. Nouviet. Two L's makes a Y. So like Spanish. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. Nah, man, you're, you're pretty special. Yes, since Latin man. Bro, I dropped out of college. What do you want from me? And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. <laughs> You're going up to be in court next. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. Oh, he hates her. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate to say it, there's someone sitting up there in VIP that has been striking a pose. Get it, Jojo. Cause I was in Jojo. <laughs> I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. Bro, he looks like he despises her. He looks so done with her shit. 
<laughs> Dude, this motherfucker. I. Mm. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him. Dude. Bro, I got it. Nuviet is Traveler, while Fosalor is his Paimon. I... It's just that Nuviet decided to talk rather than just keep quiet and let <laughs> Fosalor do all the talking. <laughs> Get this bitch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> the hydro archon <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face because she has no idea that you saw right through her to be honest i don't like her here's the thing i feel like this is going to be definitely the most divisive archon out of all the archons yet like not because of their actions not because of their uh the way they're written well obviously because of the way they're written but not it's be not because of her design but because of how she is written that's what i meant to say sorry because like with S snezhnaya's archon everyone's gonna be like oh i fucking hate her because of fatui but i love her and i understand why she's doing things i mean i'm assuming uh natlin i don't know i don't even know what the natlin archon is like uh with raiden shogun people are like man mommy uh with zhongli mm, granddaddy with venti they were like i cute uh with nahita it's like yeah that's a baby uh but she's cool um but with this one, I've heard people be like, I love her. And I've heard people go, I fucking hate her. And I feel like it's justifiably so. And I think that's what they're going for. According to an Ina Zuman NPC, not a leak, has lots of lava. Well, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be the Fire Nation. So, you know. But yeah, I honestly not surprised at how split she is, uh, Farina. I, I also do think Farina is very weak. Uh, and she wins most of her fights through knowledge and discussion and laws rather than actual physical combat. That's my hypotenuse, but I don't know. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. Oh my god, you fucking hate her. He's like, I put up with this bitch every day of my life. But that's okay. We, you already are aware of her, so we don't have to deal with her at all. <laughs> uh. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? Yeah, they hate each other. All right. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance Bro hates will start I as love soon this as dynamic. the audience has made their way to their seats. It's like Binky and the Brain, but if Binky was also smart and was sick of the brain shit. Actually, no. If Binky was just smart, if Pinky was just smart, and he had a he had an ego about, I'm also intelligent. <laughs> All right, but where's Alachino? Where's Alachino? I mean, Pinky was smart in one episode. Yeah, but I mean, like, if he was hoity-toity and smart all the time. These are big-ass oh, seats, by the way. The hey, you're blocking the fucking view, Paimon. Hmm. All right. It's time for the show. Uh. Paimon will try to stay quiet. Bro, you're so loud even when you Stop whisper. Talking! Thank you. I love how Paimon doesn't have a seat. Welcome one and all to the opera Epicles. I am Epicles. the star of today's show, Linny. I'm sorry, Linny. I'm sorry. You're am I the only one that thinks... Hold on, stop clapping. Am I the only one that thinks Epicles sounds like EpiPen? Just me? All right, cool. Proceed, Lenny. Proceed. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Yeah! Yeah! Hello, everyone. Woo! <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. 
I think it's a sign that she's done with your shit. Am I right, guys? She's done with your shit. Whatever. See, I was right. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Bullshit! Who the fuck? Or the vowels? Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. The gods won't help you anyway. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. All right. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. Okay. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. Uh-huh. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. I blinked. Ah! A magician's greatest skill oh. is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. Okay. <sighs> it's a fake bottom. It's a fake bottom. There was a cat in there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it flies! But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? I guess. This one's Pine a little the fuck up. tricky. Ow. Oh. Oh. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely, right before your very eyes. Interesting. She's like, well, I'm gonna die. Remember guys, they don't drown. They don't it's drown. It's quite simple. They don't drown, guys. She'll She's fine. turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. She's fine. Guys, it's fine. Oh no. I told them to check all the props carefully. <laughs> With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage. So let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. <laughs> His sister's like, help, help, help. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh no. She's a stripper! <laughs> Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh -huh. She was never in the water tank in the first place. It was all lies. She used her vision power. It was actually over there. The vision, because she can multiply. Do the thingy. Do the thingy. It's a lie. It's a lie. <sighs> Lies. Yeah. Whoa. What in the world just happened? How did he do that? Mama didn't seem to do anything. Bye, Mom. Get back in your fucking imaginary seat. Wasn't Lynette inside the water tank? How did she disappear and then reappear out of nowhere? No wonder he's a famous magician. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. True! To appreciate Stop magic, talking! we should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Hey, yo. Rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which is, has been intentionally hidden, Interesting. Also, his eyes, man. That screams dragon to me. Ah, guess you're right. I'm on 
still couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just I was going to say, just one trait, I that's the show? I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. Dude, he's robbing the entire corp blind. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. Okay. See, he has an I'm assistant. Sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. What? In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. What's he talking about? So, for my next trick, I will require the oh participation boy. of one lucky audience member. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what it could be. Hey, what's up, Bites? Please. If my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now, there are two boxes and only two boxes. One is here and one is there in the aisle among the audience. Okay. Yeah, you Tom, buddy. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap. Hmm. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Huh. Now, please, I believe it when I everyone see Everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow. Hey, thank you for the raid. Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks? Or does Lenny have Bro, actual superpowers? Bro, shut the fuck up and watch the show, man. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. Oh, sure. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, let me see. Oh, what is that? Row B? Seven, C3. Congratulations. Oh, thank God. You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand. Wasn't that the woman that was pickpocketing everybody? Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. This is all planned. Sorry, this is all planned. A little cramped inside, this is all planned. No this is all planned. We've this is all planned. We've carefully everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to She's do anything. She's planted. She's but not no real. What strange things may happen. Don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up? You might even find yourself in the fortress of Meripede. Is that the? <laughs> okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind being with Riothsley. Mm -hmm. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Countdown. Could you all give me a countdown? Sure. Like this. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 54, 54, 53, 52, 59, 50, 48. Forty-eight, oh, no forty-seven, now. forty-six, forty-five, seconds, forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, forty-one, forty, thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-five, four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. You son of a bitch! Fifty-nine, fifty-eight. 60, 59, 58. I hate them. That's right. Perfect. I was counting. Keep it going. All right. I'll see you all on the other side. From that point? Finished counting. 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. 55, you 56, bitch! 56, I'm trying to. Counting, I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. I love him. I'm counting in my head. Fuck you, I'm not a child. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Damn, I love him. All right. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. The only one who's uncomfortable here is you, Paimon. Now quit making everyone uncomfortable, you uncomfortable fucking floating uncomfortable bitch. 40, 39, 38. What's the point of counting if they're just gonna make up the count? Mr. Linney, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Shut the fuck up, Garrick. Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. Hmm. 
She would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. Here's the magic trick. The magic trick is is that they don't switch. It's just Lynette dressed as Lenny. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Maybe he's just supremely confident in his abilities. What was that noise? Did you hear it too? People stopped counting. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! Bro, we were so done by now. What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. It's all part of the Never plan. Mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? Not really. No. 19, 18, oh no. 17. We're not gonna talk about the woman who's alone by herself on that balcony. Like there's no one surrounding her. What a poor unfortunate soul. Look at her. Look at her. She's like, yeah, yeah, cheer. She's by herself. Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. All right, let me see it. Almost there. I'm now. not appeasing you. Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. They stop counting. Even a master magician like four, me can't I'll three, right first time. two, hey, wait. one. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Hey, slow down! Honestly. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, whoops! That doesn't count. Ta da! Alright, now show the woman on stage. It's all distraction. They were hurrying her ass over there. Quick, 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 get in the box, get in the box. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know what's crazy, chat? Someone in my chat's like, you're not ready for this next cutscene. And I was like, oh yeah, the magic trick. And it's like, zero. Wow, look at the Oh no. Oh my god, they die. <laughs> yeah, no, they were right. They were right. Dude, you know what'd be wild oh, if show. Farina set all that up? Oh, and it's like, show. I finally caught you in your little act, you little bitch. I'm finally putting you down in prison. Putting you in prison. Mm. Oh no! Wouldn't that be it, 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 that? Wouldn't that be crazy? If Farina planted, it's like, oh no! I can't believe it. Lenny is a murderer. We have to put him to court. Seems like we're gonna have to enact the death penalty for the first time. Tee hee hee. Also, remember the words that Nervillet Nouvillet said. My mom. It's like, keep watching the show. But not what is hidden. Keep your eyes on what is hidden. Being hidden. Something along those lines. Interesting. Is this part of the show? No, they're fucking dead, woman! Mr. Lenny, you're going to use magic to fix the stage now, oh, right? Yeah! Magic! <laughs> what happened? You just killed an audience member is what happened. Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. Hold on, I got it, Chet. Hold on, I the got it. Is still in that box, right? Attention! There has been a murder! There has been a murder! Attention, school! There has been a murder! <laughs> Who could have done it? You 
have until 36 hours to find out who the murderer is. You must tell me the location, the weapon, and who did it. Poo, 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 poo. I fucking hate Danganronpa. This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. It's a crime scene! <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! Bless her heart. She... Bless her fucking heart. She really is just a mascot. Oh my god. Did you hear that? She was genuinely concerned and was like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fuck! She was literally just, just distraught. My guy, Nuviet, he was on top of that shit, and she's like, Oh shit, right, 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 uh, oh my god. Stop talking! Dude. Bless her heart, she really is the pom-pom of this... Oh my god, she really is the Paimon! Bless her fucking heart! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Unless you were the murderer, then we will get to the bottom of this and you will be going to jail. After some time, the guards complete their Unfortunately, investigation. the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. <gasps> His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troop. What about the girl? You know, the one that got put in the box? Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. No shot. No shot. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. Facts. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. <gasps> the kidnapping! Chat! The kidnapping! What in case closed bullshit is this? Look, if a thin line of fishing wire is involved, if a thin line of fishing wire is involved, that is 100% case closed. Oh no. Low key, his voice sounds like Bradley Gareth. Nah, it's Ray Chase, but I do hear what you mean. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. It was some coordinated plan, if you will. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Yes, sir, bro. Me and Nuviet were of the same mind. <laughs> but who's going to solve the murderer first? The, the murder, not the murderer. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, the, the serial disappearances case? All right. You know what? You know what? You know what, chat? I'm in. I'm in. This is what I needed. I need it. I was like, what is gonna make, what is gonna make Fontaine stand out? If Fontaine is just Sherlock Holmes bullshit, if it's just mystery and mystery after mystery, and we're the Scooby-Doo detectives, if I'm the Watson to Nouveau Sherlock, bro, I'm in. I'm fucking in. <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. And to pull it off like this, in front of an audience, including the Archon and Chief Justice. <laughs> know the truth i can see through the whole thing really using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale did he really underestimate us that badly <sighs> lady lady farina please shut shut the fuck up lady farina please i love you but would you kindly shut the fuck up <laughs> i say that our powerful magician mr linny is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. <sighs> My dear Lady Farina, you are so fucking stupid. You're so fucking dumb. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. You see, this was all planned around knowing that Linny would do one of his signature performances. But there are countless suspects in this. The question is, who could it be? He's been framed? Of course he's been framed. Now then, the question is, her voice actress is officials? No, it's Amberly Connors, different. I do hear the similarities. Who do I think did it? Well, obviously, the person who's been kidnapping the ladies, 
But the question is, who is that? Hmm. Hmm. If this was Honkai Star Rail, this would be a different story because there are immortals in the Sienjo, so age wouldn't be a factor. But this... Age could possibly be a factor if girls have been kidnapped for 20 years, which means this man must be at least in his 40s. Because no child would be kidnapping people, maybe, I don't know. But you would think they'd at least be in their 20s to commit such a heinous crime. But now, since it's been 20 years later, they have to be an older gentleman. Hmm. Unless there were repeat offenders, or a copycat, if you will. <laughs> I'm getting too into this. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. <laughs> an accident? That's what you want us to think. This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? Oh my god. The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? I understand why folks don't like her. But bro, this just... This is just an indicator to show that she doesn't know that she doesn't have the power she's claiming. You just have to really pay attention. Like, you guys are like, shut the fuck up, you know? Of course she doesn't know what she's talking about. She made it seem like she knew. She just has informants. That's all it is. She doesn't have a third fucking eye, all right? She's just extra. And I really want to know what mysterious bullshit it is that's behind her. And that's why I'm so intrigued by her. Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Lenny do this? Because he's an idiot. But he was in the box on the stage the entire time. We can even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He couldn't possibly mean catching himself. It's hard to believe all this happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Oh, no. Huh? I just think that he... Well... I, uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. See this? See this? See this? She puts on a show. She puts on a show. Because she's trying to make folks think that she has power, but she's actually frail. Do you see this? Do you see this? Mmm. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. But you guys are so... And then you egg her on. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. Also, this music is very Full Metal Alchemist and I'm all about it. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. Huh? That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. Interesting how she wants to fight us. Or put the, like, put us to the test. Interesting. I trust Lenny. <laughs> no problem at all you know the traveler and i already had a duel the first time we met i mean if you could fucking call it that but with linny's help our little duel ended in a draw <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome i can see why nouvellette is done with her shit so no more draws between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. 
And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles. Oh, she hit that with Epicles, like a French. Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. Hey, just give it to her, Paimon. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. God, he really is just... Hmm. Nuviet. You're not gonna be my villain, are you? You wouldn't do that to me. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you... Mm hmm? Are you willing to act as Mr. Linny's attorney <laughs> and defend him in this case? That's right! Me! I'm ready! I'm ready to be the lawyer that everyone's been searching for! Mm-hmm! I can totally get him off. Uh, off trial, off the case, wait. Very well. I wasn't the even trying to make it, it, it anyway. Now in the opera <laughs> Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Genshin Ace Attorney? Yeah, for real. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects. Traveler is Barbie. The I think house. you mean legally blonde? Uh, excuse you? <laughs> the audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <gasps> <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Simba, I just realized something. Did you see her gloves? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everyone is dismissed and the audience begins to leave along with Fer Farina and Nuvia. Sorry about everything that happened just now. Nah, I'm not a Linny simp. Were you frightened? I was thinking of Nuvia the whole time. Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal... Now kill a playable, you won't, coward! I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? It's hard to say. I understand. Even I'm not sure what happened, so I can only imagine how difficult it is for you to grasp the situation. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But mm. if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. It would be interesting if the kidnappings were a Fatui thing. Because, like, I mean, there was the trailer with Arlecchino, Arlecchino, however you say her name. And um, it would be interesting if the kidnappings were done by the Fatui Harbingers. Uh, could be to kidnap specifically to give to the doctor to perform experiments. Um, maybe he didn't do it, but uh, maybe Arlecchino was in charge of the kidnappings because of, um, uh, because of the trailer, you know, on women. I don't know why. I mean, Dottore literally experimented on Kale. I mean, mind you, for different reasons, but, like, he's not opposed to experimenting on literally any human creature or whatever the fuck, you know? Dottore is just... He just likes to experiment on shit, you know? Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if Arlecchino has something to do with the kidnappings, mainly because of the trailers. So maybe just... Maybe the trailer was hinting at this whole circumstance is happening between Linny and Lynette while they were performing, and this is all just you know, the hidden thing. So, I don't know. We'll see what I call it. <laughs> I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why Did poor Did kidnap an experiment on children? We don't know about the kidnapping, but the experimenting on children, 100%. Like, I mean, according to, uh, with a webtoon, he experimented on, um, he experimented on Kale. So, uh, so, I mean, yeah, when Kale was a child, so... Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. 
As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Yes, it is very strange, but there's no denying what happened. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Normally, I would say I hate Paimon, but this is the best thing that Paimon could have ever pulled out of her ass. This is literally amazing. <laughs> How did you make Paimon likable in two seconds? <laughs> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Where did you get those glasses? Paimon bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? You know, yes. They are pretty fucking cool, Paimon. Don't worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. Our travel funds? All right. Bet, 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 bet. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. I agree. You have <laughs> she looks so stupid in the best way. <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. Which is a thief in the night. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Our? I think you mean Linny's. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, thank you so much. I won't let you down. I'm used to this sort of thing. Yeah, just leave it to us. Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? True. A magician never reveals his secrets. Oh, well. I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. What'd I say? The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. Damn. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that it will be sure will be. Trial. And I'm your lawyer right now, so you have to tell me everything. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort. We get it. You have the script. It. Just call me Elio, bro. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, let me see if I was right. It will be well worth it. We never gave away our visions. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate <laughs> Shut the, the fuck up, Drake. <laughs> Same yow, then. All right, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case. Paimon, if you take off that fucking, those glasses and mustache, you're dead to me. You better have that for the rest of this quest. Hello, Ossifer. <laughs> How's the investigation going? We're, uh, Lenny and Lynette's attorneys. Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. Ha, <laughs> whirlpool. I get it, because we're in Fontaine and water. Good joke, good joke, good joke. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. But that's not the point here. I'm here to get to the bottom of this. So you stick your puns up that mustachioed nose of yours, and we'll do our goddamn job. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, it was a pun, Paimon. Please keep up. Come with me and you'll see. Come with me and you'll see. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. How would you know, Esmond, unless you were part of the magical troop at some point? The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, <laughs> as well as assisting with the show and the crowd. Bro, what happened to his foot? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's like I'm looking at an Adventure Time character. What the fuck? Yo, Fall Guys? <laughs> There's been a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that isn't a foot. Oh. 
As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with But Cal why was Cowl inside? Wasn't the girl supposed to be in there? This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and we're unable Bro, to Bro, I didn't know we were going to be playing, uh, what's that fucking game? Um, uh, What the fuck is that game? Not Ace Attorney, chat. Come on. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. It's that Telltale game. Shut up. Shut up. The Wolf Among Us. Bro. I don't know where we're going to be playing the Wolf Among Us. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. Among Us? Oh my Ropes god. The tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If uh, anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned. Playing L.A. Noir. Person to have access I to all these areas. told you, Chet! This shit is L.A. I beat you to it, Bryce. I said it first. I said it first, Bryce. Nice try. Sorry, Chet. I said it first. I said it first. But he doesn't have a motive. Are you both good friends of his? More like acquaintances. Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for a little while. You know, just a, a little bit, like, you know, like maybe an hour. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. Don't you think that's kind of fucking stupid? Yes, yes we do. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. I mean, that is true. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. But that's not always true. People can be the most reliable evidence. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. Hmm. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves. I can buy mine. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Hmm. New evidence. You can use the case record to confirm your current evidence and clue collection situation and sort case-related information. You can check as yet undiscovered evidence and clues in the case record, then investigate the corresponding area to locate them. Bro, is this Phoenix right? I've never played a Phoenix right game. The deceased's identity. The deceased is one of Lenny's assistant named Cowell. He was well trusted by all his colleagues. His job was setting up and inspecting the props as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. Where's Hazo? Nina Zuma, bro. A detective in action. Whoa. I didn't know I was playing Batman. Ah, the broken magic box was left on the scene after the guards completed their invest. I was reading that. Uh, looking at it now, the water tank must have struck it really hard. All right. We've already talked to him. Oh. The rope. So this is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. Right, the burning of the rope. Hmm. The rope looks pretty durable. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? So either Linny didn't realize this was a safety concern. Or maybe it got they used a little bit of fire and then sliced it. Or a pyro user burned it, made it seem like it was like it was fireworks. Hmm? Why are you suddenly Who do we scary, know in Fontaine that uses a fire vision? A pyro vision, if you will. I'm just looking at where the rope snapped. That's what I thought. This really is Ace Attorney. Made from different material. Well, what? Most of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. It seems to be flammable, like a type of flash cotton. Like a thin line of fishing wire! Huh. So if a rope meant to hold something was made with that kind of material in it, then that means... It looks like... I mean, Linny's vision was taken. Ooh, this is not good for you, Linny. <laughs> this is not good for you, Linny. His vision was taken. But it was taken by the guy that died. 
I heard that the creator of Danganronpa and the creator of Genshin Impact are married. I feel like you're lying to me and you're just saying it for the for a bit. But if that is true, that'd be fucking hilarious. Wait, why don't you write all this down? Let's take notes. Special rope. The rope was used to suspend the water tank. It suddenly broke when the fireworks were being launched on stage. The investigation has shown that the location where the rope snapped was made of flammable material. I wonder if it was like... This is where the magic box was struck. If Cowl weren't inside the box at the moment, he might have dodged the falling water tank. I wonder if Cowell was actually part of the people kidnapping and he just fumbled and got himself killed. Because if you really think about it, Cowell is the guy that set up everything. So he was the one that got the rope and he was the one that had Lenny's vision. So, I mean, we don't have enough evidence, obviously, but like, you know? The investigation team has some new findings. Turns out there's an issue with the random number selector after all. How would he have done the magic though? Well, Lenny has that rope thing. Well, he did that thing where he activated it afterwards. So he could have tapped the fucking thing like he, like he did to us with that rope. You know how like Lenny, like he shook our hand and put the, and patted Paimon on the back and then added that rope? Who's to say that Cowell couldn't just do the, something similar with the rope. Yeah, please do not say anything. This is just how my brain is processing this. Why did he have the vision in the first place? He had the vision in the first place because Linny and Lynette gave the visions to prove that this was real magic and not visions. See, I told you. <laughs> what if the machine picked some big guy's seat? You think the murderer would have still made his move then? Bro! I didn't know Luca from Honkai Star Rail was in fucking Genshin. Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Linny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. I love Howard. What were you saying about the number selector? There's something wrong with it? Huh? You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall order. Hey, just give us answers. Linny used the machine to pick a random member of That's the audience during Howard. his performance, right? The lucky girl that later disappeared. Blanga? True. Well... We thought there might be a serious... We got something else. Oh my god, we can get a lot of stuff. Problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. Okay. It turns out that the seat number it picked wasn't random at all. The machine picks that what? same number every time. Bro, I'm telling you, it's a plant. It's a plant. I told you! I said... I jokingly said it could be a plant, so she could have actually been part of the show. Like I fucking said. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a trial or Man, some I'm ahead of the game, baby! I'm ahead of the game! In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the Well, very well, welly, welly, well. Well, well, water in a well. Hmm. That much checks out. Lenny reserved our seats for us, too. Well, well, well. Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Lenny. Thanks, sorry to bother you. Mm. It Even does bad look Lenny bad for Lenny. Lenny 100% was set up. Unless Lenny is a piece of shit. Uh, random number selector. This device was used during Lenny's magic performance to choose a lucky member of the audience. However, the guards have found that it will generate the exact same number no matter what. Clearly, someone has tampered with it. And it could obviously be Lenny who could have tampered with it, you know? Like, who's to say that he didn't tamper with it, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, Maurice. Old man Maurice. Hmm. Oh, this location has also been cordoned off because the Magic Troop members are currently considered prime suspects. Okay. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. I mean, fair enough. The seats were all booked in advance, so we were able to deduce the missing woman's identity by checking the guest list. Could you tell us who she is? We're Lydia and Lynette's attorneys. Sure. It's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. Fair enough. Her name is Halsey. She's Halsey. a painter from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. 
Now, the only other character I've ever met in my life that's named Halsey is from Halo. So you know what? You can take her. You can keep her. That guy, that woman's a bitch. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House, but she'd been feeling some pressure with her work lately, which made her decide to come see the magic show. The magic troop members all claim not to know her. Not the artist, damn. Look, there's the singer. I said character. No I said character. Relax. No conflicts of interest with the suspects. I'm one of your followers. Hey, what's up, Fire Demon Queen? Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all, which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Hmm. Were the victims of previous cases also chosen at random? Huh. That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of around the same age range, there really weren't any other connections between them. I swear to God, if all the connection is that they have blonde hair, I'm going to be really pissed. <sighs> Thanks for letting us know all this. I don't need to be so formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, please be sure to contact us. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get right to it, Maurice. It's of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. Yeah, you're only 20 years late. Information about the missing ladies. Alzi is the missing person. She's a famous painter and came to watch the magic show. In order to take a break from her own creative work, she isn't known to have been entangled in quarrels with any of the members of Linny's magic troupe. I will say, the model, the picture that they have right here looks awfully different than um, than the model we saw in the game, which is interesting. Um, but it could just be lighting. All right, you later. Uh, you take it easy, uh, Achilles the Kitty. Okay. All right, so now we've licked everything on stage. Do we see anything around here? Oh, a clue. <gasps> Examine the magic box. It looks like an ordinary box, but Lenny somehow moved instantly from the stage to being inside of it. How did he do it? I mean, there has to be like a mechanism from floor to floor or something. Um, um, um. Oh, a clue up here. Their response. Sophie, what the fuck? Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who it is. Lenny's still talking to the guards. It seems he'll have a lot of explaining to do. I think someone will be assigned to monitor us later, but that's all right. Sure. Teleportation waypoint? You know? That would be a clever way to do it. What's this from Molly? Lenny's still talking to the guard. Oh, I think someone... that's the clue? I guess so. Okay, not what I was expecting, actually. What about over here? Oh, over here. It's so funny because this is the same ability from uh, the hide-and-seek minigame that we have. What's that game called? I always forget it. Oh, the wind trace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that you're investigating the area. Better, Valor. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. Oh, thanks, Bakugo. If you find any new and interesting leads, be sure to share them with me, all right? I don't know who the fuck you are. Why would we I do don't that? Have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> then why What's don't up, I Nama? tell you my hypothesis first? All right. The way I see it, it all started with that loud thud. True. We all did think that was weird, and we jokingly said someone got shot. The thud. You mean the sound that happened during the countdown? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, but I suspect that most people heard it. It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Linny's trick with bated breath. So no one paid it much mind. But now that the incident has happened, the thud has become an important clue. Hmm. That makes sense. So what do you make of it? I don't know. I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny's accomplice. Lynette, perhaps, jumping atop the water tank or something like that. Ah. And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. Um, I get what you're saying, but oh, now it didn't have to be cut, but she could have taken the vision back and. 
burned it. It's not looking good for Lynette and Lenny, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly rough landing. Then shouldn't the water tank have started to swing a bit in that case? Oh, that's true. Hmm. I suppose I must reconsider. I'm telling you, <clears throat> I promise you that Lynette was probably just dressed as Lenny. That does remind Paimon, though. What was with that sound? Strange sound during the magic show. Interesting. All right. Look for clues. I think the only one left is that, uh, yellow one. Look for clues in the opera house. What about these individuals? Oh, from here. I'm in the opera house. Oh, uh, oh, there's more. Okay, cool. Hey, you. Yes, both of you. Over here. I've been keeping an eye on you for a while now. What in the mafioso? Huh? You mean us? It's Taylor Swift. That's right. If I'm not mistaken, you're also among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. No. And by the looks of it, you're not from Fontaine. Well, you're right on the mark about that I love one. Like this. Who are you? Not Tay Tay. <laughs> Have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? You know she doesn't speak French. From mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums, you name it, Spina di Rosula does it. I'm gonna be honest, chat, this is one of the characters that I felt nothing towards. And I, Navia, have the honor of being its renowned president. You look like an Oshinoko character. Though those who play by our rules call me boss. Oh, your boss! Oh. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. <laughs> and I'm Melus. Demoiselle's very. Bro. Bro. Huh? Boss? Demoiselle? Second generation president. Malus and the others are still used to my previous title. Which is? My apologies, demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to use that instead. The fuck are you talking about? Why he sounds like Mr. Krabs? Relax, bro. Don't make fun of Jason Marnoka like that. No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just Navia is fine. Yeah, her, like, I remember when she was first introduced, I was like, okay, that's whatever. Okay, if you say so. Not that like, as a character, maybe I'll like her, but, like, anyway. her design I was, like, indifferent about. Like, it's not bad. It's not good, like, to me, you know? How do you know who everyone is? I just have a good ear for it. Bro, you should talk to Simba. Like, literally, I'm a fucking nerd for this shit. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Never mind. Now, back to the situation at hand. My thought was Mary Poppins. No, my thought was just... Rich blonde girl who probably went to a funeral. That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My interest stems from a matter back from my father's time. From your father's time? Judging from the look of things, I find Linny an unlikely mastermind. Really? We think so too. That's why we're looking for clues now. Hmm. But how did you come to that conclusion? <laughs> Can he remember what he did last week? Never in his life. But getting voice actors with a second of hearing it? That's your guy. <laughs> You're right, though. He, he's spitting. Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. How dare you use forbidden hand on me? That is Sino's pose, you fucking harlot. 
<laughs> Farina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever, wasn't she? Classic Farina. But that's not uncommon for her. If you remember, the Justice I like had the music. to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. I've heard this VA before. I believe it's Brina? Not Brianna. I know how it's spelled. I don't know how it's pronounced. Brianna. Uh, this is definitely one of the newer voices that I'm not too familiar with. So that's why I, uh, I'm like not 100% uh, sure. It's just the voices I'm very familiar with. Uh, yeah, Brenna Larson. I was right. Not, not Brian, not, not Brian Larson. Uh, but Brenna Larson. That's why I was like, I know this one. Not, not Brie Larson. That's the name. Not Brie Larson. Brenna Larson. Yes. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was also in, uh, Octopath. Traveler 2. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way Farina was going to back down in that situation. Uh, Farina and Nadia have to be my fave, too, from the... Is it because of the voice? Is it because of the design? Or because of the writing? Sounds more like you just don't trust the Hydro Archon. I mean, fair, do you? Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times. But liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly agree with her. Navia because of design slash writing. Okay. All right. I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Okay. Wait a minute. Did that answer count? I want to see Nahida and Farina interact. Well, I That would be really funny, actually. But don't worry. You won't hear any pointless questions from me. Okay. Hit me with it. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? Ooh, you know, I don't um, personally think so. Well, not always. I didn't even get an option, but okay, I'll go fuck myself. And why would that be? Doing so makes it easy for the truth to fall by the wayside. Something serious like a trial should be treated like entertainment. <laughs> See, Silver and Malouse? I told you they'd be different. Yeah. Most what? astute of you, demoiselle. I too think that the traveler's response was most excellent. I love Marnoka's voice. Dude, this guy's range. You guys are talking about like ranges from like Damon or myself. Bro, this guy's range. Like, sure, his range lives in the lower parts of his voice. But man, man. Nah, dude. He can make him sound. Dude, he can sound like a dad and your grandpa so fast. He can turn off texture, which is super impressive. And I feel like people are not giving him enough credit. No matter how wonderful the script or how fervent I agree, the audience's Babs. expectations may be, the trials that go on stage here must be based in fact. Let glasses. that can be done, boss, then. All right, that's quite enough, Malouse. Anyway, I like your answer. You pass with flying colors. Now, Thanks, Tay -Tay. I need to make some preparations. Following which, our joint investigation shall commence. You two shall be my assistants. Huh? Bro, I'm already an attorney. Since when do we become assistants? Mm hmm? Oh, uh, well, I can be the assistant. Sure. Huh? Or your companion, if you like. I'm really not that fussy. Weren't you just talking about the entertainment shit? I think you're missing the point, Paimon. Seems you've already agreed then. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. Hmm. You wish to save a friend from false accusations, and we wish to unravel the disappearances. In this sense, our goals are aligned. I will say, I will say this. Um, the Fontaine story has definitely hooked me. And that was gonna, that was my biggest fear. Because I wasn't sure what they were going to do. You have a point. Huh. You're quite the talker, aren't you, mister? And what about you over there? What do you think? You seem like you've got something on your mind. Yeah, I'm wearing sunglasses in the fucking, <laughs> anyway, indoors. I have nothing to add. Yeah, clearly. Oh, alrighty then. We'll be making some preparations first. Just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Linny's tricks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. 
So now we look for that next clue. You were there and then you were not. Seems like she knows Lenny's tricks. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's a member of the new new new. Sorry, but no one can freely enter or exit the opera house at the moment. If you wish to leave, you must register your identity with us first. Ah, no, we're not leaving. We're representing Lenny and Lynette as attorneys, so we... We only have three. Shit. Investigating the case. My losing, thanks. Let out, girl. Were you always guarding this entrance? Yes. After the Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. The crazy part is, chat, you know that Nouviette is supposed to be one of these? Did you guys know that? Because in the drip marketing, they said that Nouviette is a... Is a Mousseline. Here, I'll I'll double check. I might be on something, but I swore that's what I read. I don't believe you. I mean, fair enough. I wouldn't believe it either. Let me look it up. I'm literally scrolling down to the drip marketing of Nuviet. Uh, -na 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 -na. All right, there's Riosli. Uh, Nuviet. Uh, Nuviette, ordainer of inexorable judgment. Um, yeah. From this, we can safely surmise that Nuviette must be the only male Melusine. Granted, the Melusines actually appeared much later than when Nuviette took up his post, but in the face of such ironclad evidence, there's bound to be some way of explaining this. Uh, yeah. Here. I'll pull up the Carfax. Uh, hold on. Shout out to my thing, not one on your show. But yeah. Right here. Right here. From this, we can safely surmise that Nuviet must be the only male Melusine. Uh, the Chief Justice, but mind you, it seems like it is a speculation from the tabloid, so we don't have a clear answer, but it's speculative that he is a male Mussolini. That's just in world. To the person that said I thought he was the Hydro Dragon, that's not confirmed, but I did have that theory I yesterday. Doubt there was much opportunity then either. He's a father figure to them. I mean, I'd believe so it. Sure. That motherfucker is the one in charge, 100%. Well, because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time, I couldn't see Linny's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my luck. But still, I could not abandon my post. And I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. If someone had mm. so much as even approached the door, I would have noticed it, let alone if they had tried to leave. And that means it had to be someone in the audience or someone who was backstage. We Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So, hmm. it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left through here. All right, thank you for your help. This will be useful in Should have asked if there were any other exits. Okay, so does that mean someone did the deed with a Melusine? I don't think so, but we'll see. I think the Melusines are this region's r and R's, right? discussion with the guards is going huh if they didn't go through the door are there any windows i mean those are i think decorative windows but i feel like you can't just open them you you know what i mean like i'm trying to see around if there's it does seem like that's the only it does seem like that's the only entrance hold on hold on hold on But could have been a John Wilkes Booth type of deal. Can I climb this? Ah, oh, you're a bitch. Then the the only explanation of s how someone got in or out is those balconies. There's not even a rooftop thing. Interesting. Okay. 
Oh my god, it's a good Sumeru boy in Fontaine. Well, I mean, when it calls for judgment, who better to call? Understood. Then I will be going with you. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Hmm. Better call Sino. Very good. Thanks for being so agreeable. <laughs> Instead of better call Saul, better call Sino. That is a gift for you if I could. Well, then I'd have to arrest you. You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just doing my job. And I actually hate you. You've arrived. Uh, who's this? Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the firepower. Wait, so they don't know who that is? <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Call me Navia. Wait, wait, whoa, affairs, whoa, we'll whoa, 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 whoa. So she's not their boss? Interesting. Unless they're playing along, but it seems like she knew. Well, Linny had talked. She said she was famous. No, it's it's like because Linny wanted Fernet, 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 Fernet. I always forget his name. Fernet, Fernet. His brother. He wanted his brother to go do a thing to his boss. Like, go show... Give the boss shit. But... I thought Navia was the boss because... That's the way she introduced herself. And I thought that was the... The boss was the boss of the forge? Oh. I guess. And these are my companions. Would you mind if they join never as mind. well? Their brother Fahrenheit. Hmm? Fine by me. Oh, new helpers. I would be most grateful. Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. Man, she sounds like Jeannie Torado so much. <laughs> I appreciate your kind interest. Come with me. We'll be heading below stage. Lynette's reaction was odd. Yeah, interesting. I know. Low stage? Yes, a world of secrets is hidden beneath this There magic it box, is. Prepared specifically for this. What did I trick. say, chat? Classic trick in the book. But before I reveal everything, you should have a look first. Notice anything strange here? It's an elevator. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more easily. Huh. Weren't there balloons and other decorations here? Where did all that go? Ah, good eye. That said, you're still far from discovering the answer. The back door isn't the same. Uh, the back? You mean the inside of the door? What's different about it? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that you were sitting in the first row. Hmm, hmm. The back of this door was patterned. Those patterns yep. are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden board. So, if you put two and two together, what do you get? There's another box inside this one, yep. <laughs> exactly. Just like your fucking hat! All right, let's go. I'll tell you how it works as we head down. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, so there was a passageway under the magic box. Wow, I'm so surprised and shocked. It's not like I said this was. Man, it's like I know magic or some shit. This passage linked the two boxes together. <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this place. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two entrances of the tunnel. See this flatbed trolley? That's how we got there so the fast. Box with a lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trolley. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. I see. So that's the purpose of the box inside another box. Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member was put inside and be moved along the trolley. All while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. Hmm. So that's how you did it! 
Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device here, with which it would complete the rest of the steps. The audience member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark, and by the time she walked out, she would already be back on stage. And what about your side of the trick? Right! You were talking that whole time, and you even came out for recording. a near the end! Those are recording. Ah, uh, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was used wow. to achieve that Wow! Oh my god, it's... <laughs> I'm just a my good. My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. When the countdown began, I had already gone to the opposite box via a tunnel using that ladder. And what about Lynette? Where was she? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Hmm. Oh, interesting. That's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. And by the way, I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. What did I fucking say? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I mean, we are twins. All it takes is a change of clothes and no one can tell who's who. <laughs> well, well, welly, welly water in a fucking well. And that's my favorite part of this trick. Only Lynette and I can perform it. Detail you yeah, they're both twins. More amazing than the last. Sayu Binu, stop. <laughs> you know, when you're just this fucking good, you know. Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in. Cool, so how did the girl the disappear then? And escaping before the box on the trolley could finish ascending. Well, clearly she got kidnapped down here. And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area. And the trick hey, would up, be hero? complete. The operative word here being would. <laughs> would. But as you saw, Cal was in the box, not our audience member. She, on the other hand, mysteriously vanished. Interesting. I need to explore this area today. We really Get don't a, know how an that idea. happened. Pepper to lights. Thank you for the seven months. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. I probably never would have figured, I figured out how it out. pulled it off. I figured it out immediately. And yet, to think that someone was able to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Could we have a look around? I think we can come up with some more leads. That's what I said. This is the scene of the crime. So Lenny and Lynette are not permitted to stay here. I'll escort them back up. That's fine. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. I won't disappear into thin air, you know. Thanks, everyone. But she did. We're counting on you. The magic trick. Got it. On stage box structure. Audience side magic box structure. All right, we got a couple of clues here. Examine the ladder. That's a long ass ladder. A ladder is what? Yeah, no shit. This lever should be the control for the, the trolley. Whoa, a hook. Interesting. Huh. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. There's no way I called this shit. There's no way I called this shit. Looks like a hook tied to the end of a rope. Huh? There's all kinds of odds and ends here. Lenny didn't mention this earlier. Perhaps it was a prop for a different trick. But that a glitch? why would it have been left here? For a different trick? I mean, could have been how the kidnapper got away with the girl. Or maybe there was no kidnapping. Hmm. Whatever it is, let's make a note of it first. A rope that has fallen to the ground. A metal hook that has been tied to one end of this rope. Its use is unclear. Well, 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 well. Okay. Huh. I wonder if this was the pound. Clothing? What the fuck? Oh, these are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience was wearing, right? Was it? I don't think it was, but okay. Her clothes are here, but she's nowhere to be found. Lenny didn't mention the guest having a wardrobe change. Right. Do you really need to do 
that if you're kidnapping them? When did your glasses become swirly, dude? <laughs> Ugh, this is so confusing. Hana doesn't want to be a detective anymore. Don't you dare take off those fucking glasses. The clothes belonging to Halsey. The lady who went missing were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. She could have changed with Cowell for some reason. But why would she do that? No shit. Water is wet. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Maybe it was for the trick. Maybe it was the, for the trick, specifically for the vase oh, thing? Hyman knows! It's one of those tricks where you pour water into a jug and then flip the jug over only Shut to up, Hyman. Here's a broken vase! Huh. Did the trolley knock it down while moving? Maybe she knocked it down while she was changing. Uh, that can't be. The trolley moves along tracks from start. Hmm. Let's. There are many pieces of broken flower vase one side of the tunnel. All the water within has been spilled. Yes, Paimon always had a mustache. These are the tracks. Hold on. So there's no other exit. There's a tr storage box here. She could have easily changed and went up. Now, the question is, hey, little Vivi, thank you for the five months. She could have changed and gotten away, but, hmm, interesting. Oh, sci-fi time, yeah. for you hold on chat what happened man just like the the, the magic trick sci-fi is gone there you go i got it all right hmm All kinds of props and costumes. Because she easily could have changed. Gotten one of these. Maybe she was trying to hide her clothes. And she accidentally tumbled. The, like she was trying to hide her clothes in the vase. Hence why her clothes are wet. Like she accidentally pushed it over. And then she was rushing. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. But why would she want to switch places? That's the question. Why do that? The trolley is crucial for transporting the magic box on the other side. Oh, there's a vent! Well, well, well. Seems like there is a way to escape. What is this place? I'm glad, notice. Let's take a vent. It seems someone could fit through here. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? Hmm, alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person with them, the space would be too narrow. Hmm. But there are no other ways in or out of here. Other than those that go through the magic boxes, and Linny and Lynette were in the two magic boxes. Oh, you're right! Let Paimon write that down. The tunnel vent... Interesting. Seems we're just about done investigating down here. 
Interesting. Yeah. Let's head back up. Hmm. No, I don't want to examine it. What the hell? Hmm. Well, we've ascertained the state of the crime scene. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Seems to me that there are several things that don't add up here. Hold up, Malus. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle. So, what did the guards say? Did the criminal escape through the vent? They believe the odds of that are very low, since the vent leads to the Opera House's basement. Okay. And what's wrong with the basement? The guards have checked the area carefully. No one left through the basement during the performance or after the incident, and no one was found hiding there. Damn it. I was going to say, what if they were hiding in there? So the tunnels become like a secret chamber then. You know, like the kind you usually see in novels. Did you just quote Harry Potter in 2023? It would seem so. Hmm. The plot thickens. Halsey's disappearance and Cowell's death are both quite inexplicable. Huh. No wonder Farina was so confident in her accusation. All the current evidence points toward Linny and Yeah, Lynette. it sure fucking does. This is bad. In other words, the charges are very likely to be upheld unless we make some considerable progress. <laughs> progress, all right. Charges and then trial. Hmm. So if the charges are upheld, they'll announce a sentence? That's right. This is how a trial goes in the Opera House. During the proceedings, the Chief Justice and the Oratrice will hear statements from both sides. The Oratrice will too? That's right. This is how indemnidium is produced. The statements from both sides, the defenses from attorneys, hmm. witness testimonies, and even the audience's emotions will all be projected on the oratrice. Are they really not in the basement? To put it simply, it's as if the oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the chief justice. And not that this has ever happened anyway. Fascinating. Once both sides have finished speaking, the Chief Justice will make his final decision. This, too, will be used by the Oratrice as a reference. Mm. Then, finally, the Oratrice will be consulted by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. Damn, I can't believe Lenny and Lynette are really going to jail. Huh? So that machine is the one that actually decides? I'm on button of a lead called the shot. Where was the R there? In practice, there is very little difference. Both have always come to the same judgment which is ah Oops, sorry. yes the guards also asked me to convey that none of us will be allowed to leave this place before the trial huh? Why? because we've chosen to act as the twins proxies that makes us persons related to the case fair enough <sighs> they're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case hmm and even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. I'm ready to break out at any time. Whoa, whoa! There's no need for that! Paimon thinks they have a point! That's- Of course! I just hope you don't mind the lack of options. I'm That's not the time to be picky. Ace is not in the cards, nor is any guarantee of balanced nutrition. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts, too. I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? Well, we could do that after, but not right now, clearly. Because uh, right now we're in court, madame. Huh. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. Paimon. Just kidding, just kidding. Paimon will still do her best, mm. even if there are no snacks. Hmm? What do you mean, no snacks? Of course we'll have snacks. If we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. <laughs> if we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some. All right. We're missing two. Interesting. The tunnel. We're missing two tunnel. Interesting. We do have all of the clues we could find, though, here. But the testimonials of clues. Huh? Here? But Understood, demoiselle. Everyone, please come with me. 
I have no idea what you're talking about, Bacon, so I'm assuming not. Hmm. Wait, you're carrying a portable stove with you? Why not? Yes, I must be prepared to meet the demoiselle's baking needs whenever the fancy strikes her. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. Wait. These three yeah, she got rid of the swirly lens, but that's okay. She still has the mustache. Must be a Spina de Rizula thing. <laughs> Damn, are those macarons? While it was still in the oven. Oh, it's even better now. Paimon can't stop Yo, I'm hungry again. From the way you had these two guys carrying all that stuff around, Paimon thought you'd have them do more during the baking process. But you ended up doing the entire thing by yourself. Beating the egg whites, grinding almonds. Everything. Well, I can't have it because there's almonds. I was applauding. <laughs> I was applauding. <laughs> and I was giving encouraging smiles. Uh, that's like, like what I'm on that, but all right. I, Paimo was just thinking. Aren't you worried about getting your fancy dress dirty, beating egg whites, and baking like this? Oh, you know. <laughs> well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can only read books, sip tea, ride horses, and play the piano. I just really enjoy making snacks. True. Don't underestimate beating egg weights, by the way. It's a real arm workout. Yeah, hey, think of the 16 you months. You need to beat them to just the right consistency, or your macarons will crack. Anyway, give these a try. Fresh out of the oven. There's three for each of us. Only three? For each. Well, eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? Tea is oh, she's Geo. As well. Bro, I, we haven't seen Geo in years. Strong black tea with a floral fragrance that clears the mind. I need to take a break as well. Lifts the spirit. No need for concern. I'm merely doing as I should. <laughs> Sylvie, what the fuck? She beats me like she beats her eggs, or she beats her eggs like she beats me. All right then. Like I. <laughs> oh, like Down you. To oh. Business. Like as you beat my. The tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. However, we can assume that Linny and Lynette were not alone within it. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. True. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course, but they lack any logical motive. Exactly. Why would they do such a thing right when everyone was watching? We're left with two other people, the missing girl and the deceased. The face and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel. Hmm. Resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. That's what I thought. Paimon thinks that makes sense. But the real trouble is... That there's no evidence that this third person even exists. <sighs> True. None of the clues we've found thus far support the existence of this third person. But the only people left to consider are both technically victims. Show, Whether it's the missing girl, Halsey, or poor Cowl. Or maybe, and I don't know why he would do this, maybe to get out of the game for some reason, maybe Cowl switched clothes with Halsey... And that's why it looked like Halsey, or, or that's why it looked like Cal. And the one that's actually dead is Halsey, and just Cal was missing because he wanted to fuck off. Huh. Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props in order to murder Cal before making her escape? But she had no way of knowing how the magic trick worked. Uh, that's right. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire <laughs> you trick. You stole my to idea. Oh, no. Nor does she have any motive. The guard said that she has never had any dealings with the Magic Troops members. Right. <sighs> Were we not thorough enough in our search? From no. the sound of things, this is turning into an impossible case. Your macarons are amazing though, Navia. They smell great! They're nice and crisp and super sweet. <laughs> they are my specialty after all. And I see you've already had five of them. Even <laughs> though we said three for each. What? Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. 
Hmm. Thank you for the subbies. Being greedy is one thing, but putting it in your face. Paimon knows that if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. It's oh, it's fine. And everyone knows you how much you love. Wait, even you don't believe Paimon? <gasps> There's an invisible man afoot. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we get it. Well, I suppose one of us might have gotten too engrossed in our chat and eaten them by mistake. Maybe what the murderer. Hmm. Hmm. Malus, set up the stove again, if you would. Hmm. Huh? Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Oh, there's really no need to do that. Exactly. We don't want to try. Hey, you. silence. Oh, thank you for the raid. How's it going, raiders? As you wish, demoiselle. And I have the egg, sugar, and almonds. At the ready. At the ready. At the ready. Uh, well, this really is your hobby, huh? That's the second round of baking. However, the discussion that follows does not yield much progress. Well, that's it for snack time. I'm going to have another look around the area. I feel like we should, too. I don't know what we're looking for yet. But we've still got some time. As attorneys, I suggest the two of you think the case. It would be awkward if you got all tongue-tied on stage during the trial. True. All right, thanks for your help and for the snacks. Better it than me. Oh, it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Silver, Malus, it's time to go. I'll be back if I find anything new. Probability of third person being involved. Interesting. All right, it's time. But I feel like we're missing oh, something. Gonna be a long and difficult case. <laughs> There's no point in worrying about that now. We just need to prepare. Here, take Pylon's notes. They should help you review the situation. How do how would I review that? This is Challenge Vision. Can I not review my notes? R2? It won't let me. See? It won't let me right now. How's the quest so far? It's pretty good. I can't believe that it's an episode of Suits. <laughs> I've only seen Suits. You just missed it? It was there? You can review them? What the fuck are you talking about? In the quest section? You can in the inventory. Am I blind? I am blind, thank you. Why would it be, Hiccup? There was no third person. There was no taking mm. a time. That side. We missed two things here. And we're missing something. Can I go back in the tunnel? The question is, can I investigate in the tunnel? The dropped hook. So the drop hook. Examine the tracks. Examine the storage boxes. Bro, are we sure that one, this fucker ain't hiding in this box? That's not what I want. Hmm. I wish I could pull that fucking... I got everything? All right. Maybe I'll get those clues later. I mean, maybe. How much longer do I have of this case? Uh, chat. Real quick question. Is this like the last bit? Hour? Hour? Like an hour-ish? 
You guys are telling me different things. Because, like, I am getting kind of tired. So I don't know if I should save the trial for tomorrow before my flight. Or, uh, if I should wait until tomorrow. It's long. Then do you guys want to wait until tomorrow to finish the trial? Since it's a bit long. I'd wait till tomorrow. Sure. All right, bet. And we did hit the four hour mark. So, you know, good place to end the stream. So, thank you everybody for stopping by.